All right, Jake Noaker here with the Scrap News and with another UFC 288 fighter, Joseph Holmes. And Joseph, before I get into asking you how fight week is, about your fight, yada yada, elephant in the room, you miss weight a little bit, man. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the weight cut, what went wrong, how are you feeling? Uh, we talked a bit ago, you do know I bulked up and stuff for this camp. Um, I came in, I, I want to say just like two over what I have came in the last three fights that I've had. So I came in at like two... Oh, 1.5, something like that. I usually come in like, I try and be under 200. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I, I messed up there. And then so I got caught back up around Wednesday with my weight. But I had to do like three workouts a day. Um, it was very tough. But I also had to like put a lot of water in while I'm doing it. Kind of like a water load. Um, which was the first time I've done it that way. I normally kind of trickle down with my water. And I water loaded like a few weeks back. Um, so I normally just like cut water, cut water, cut water, but I couldn't do it with this one because I was heavy. So yeah, man. And, uh, just kind of like the lack of like, uh, things I'm used to didn't have a sauna, didn't have a, you know, a hot source of water to kind of like let the, the sweat keep going after getting out of the sauna. So like anytime I'd want to sweat, I'd have to kind of be active and, you know, use the energy I don't have. Cause I'm not eating carbs, you know, I'm not eating barely anything. Um, so just kind of, that just made it tough for me, man. Just trying to be active to start sweating and then use like a you know, like a portable sauna, which they're not cheap. They are good portable saunas that they offer, but it's just difficult. Like even throughout the week, you would feel the air come on. You know what I mean? Like I just get a good sweat going and then boom, the air comes on. <clears throat> and I have to tell my coach like, did the air just come on? And they're like, oh shit, let me go check. So they're running. It takes about 30 minutes for the air to go off. By then I'm not even sweating anymore. So now I gotta get out the sauna be active just to start sweating again. So it was very rough. It was very difficult, but no excuses. I, I should have made weight. I've done it 16 other times, but uh, it is what it is. Is what it is, dude. Passes in the past. You're healthy, rehydrated now, and the fight is still on. Yeah, you said baby. you said you like very briefly talked to Claudio. At all. I, mean, I don't know if he speaks English, but how did that go? Uh, Claudio's a super respectful guy. Kind of unexpected. I thought he would be more of like a jock, um, but a super uh, respectful guy super game which I like to see he's excited he's bouncing around uh he's having fun uh, I had my coach go over there and talk with him before uh you know like Mick Maynard and all the important guys go over there and uh, coach said the same things like oh man they're super cool they're super polite and stuff um and he said to me he looked me in my eyes like oh don't worry about it the fights we're still gonna have the fight so hey man I, I appreciate that I respect that I'm still gonna bring the heat but I do appreciate Claudio tremendously and I even sent him a direct message on Instagram even before uh, staff knew I wasn't going to make weight. So he, I don't know if he saw it, but he was technically the first to know, uh, just out of respect. I'm not sorry to anyone for not making weight except for him. So, Well, I'm, I'm glad you guys are being cordial and respectful of each other and that the fight's still on. It's certainly a show we all want to see. And I talked to you, you know, last week about this fight. And now that we're the day before the fight, how are you feeling, man? How do you think this fight's going to play out? Dude, I'm locked in, man. I'm excited. I was just talking about how I've been having to be active all week to start sweating and that activity has just been me going over my game plan back and forth with uh, mitt work uh, where my coach is and um, just really just solidifying my game plan um, and I'm super excited to show it dude I'm going to bring a different Joe that I've not brought before because I know that my opponent is game and I know he wants to show his stand-up game as well so I'm excited. One of the questions I've written down is are the nerves starting to kick in at all because we're so close to this big pay-per-view event but, dude, you seem, like, real loose. You seem like you're, like you said, locked in. I don't get the nervous vibe. So is that safe to say your energy is not nervous? You're excited and ready? Oh, there's nervousness, but that's what's going to help me, you know, block and keep my, you know, keep my hands up and counter-strike and do all the things I'm supposed to do, those nerves. That's, that's, if you're not nervous, then how are you going to defend yourself? You know what I'm saying? You're going to stand there and just take stuff, and that's not what I'm trying to do, so... Yeah, I mean, I am nervous, but not any more or less than before. Um, and, and a lot of the nerves did go away with the weight cut. I was up all night long. I didn't sleep an inch last night. Just mm -hmm. just sitting here, you know, devastated about how hard it is to make weight. You know, I'm like, you know, like doing things. My body's reacting in a way that's just showing me that I just can't cut anymore. You know, I'm throwing up all night, but nothing's coming out. You know, I'm cramping in my feet the whole night and... Mm -hmm. You know, but I can't put water back in because I'm still having to try and be close to that weight. And it was good, but that took a lot of my nerves away. Yeah, sorry you had to go through that. And like, sorry, it's on me, man. This is my job. Don't be sorry. I mean, weight cutting sucks. That's what I'm sorry for. Yeah, it does suck. <laughs> so 
Otherwise, though, how's fight week been, man? I mean, like right before we started rolling, you just met John Anik. You guys were hitting it off. Uh, like I said, dude, huge pay-per-view. How's New Jersey been? New Jersey's been phenomenal. Everybody I've met here, man, I love the energy. I wish I could have spent more time in the city and kind of seeing things, but I'm an early fight, so I get to kind of see the city after my fight's over. But, man, I, I, I'm really enjoying New Jersey. I got to get out to Brooklyn a little bit. That was fun, too. I wish I could see more again, but um, I'm planning on coming back so I can experience Jersey in a different light. And, uh, yeah, man, I love Jersey. I've never been here before, and it's, it's amazing. And I know you said you're staying around after the fight to see New York City. You said you're going to come down to Philly a little bit. Do you have any plans to, like, check out any gyms, or is it vacation time? Uh, yeah, well, I'm going up to New Hampshire next weekend. They have, uh, I can't remember the name of the, the organization, but they have a fight card next weekend. I'm trying to get on there and commentate. I know that our former champ, Perea, is in New Hampshire uh, with Glover's, uh, Glover's camp. So definitely trying to stop by there and meet him and get a little work in with him. That would be amazing. That would be a dream come true. So uh, I don't know about throughout the week uh, because obviously I got to fight. So anything could happen. But um, I would like to... Oh, yeah, Nostos. Nostos MMA, uh, a good friend of mine, Ryan Gerald, connected me with, and he invited me to come stop by. I, I want to say he's in Jersey or something. I can't, I can't recall where he is, but, yeah, Nostos MMA, I definitely want to stop by. Hey, man, great region for MMA out here. You know, I, I'm local, so I cover a lot of the gyms and tons and tons of talent. I'm glad to see that you're going to be able to experience some of that. And, Joseph, man, before we get out of here, I want to give you the opportunity. Night before the big fight, tons of fans – Huge pay-per-view. Everybody's watching. What are your thoughts? Anything you'd like to say to everybody? Uh, I mean, I guess simply I'm a nobody. But um, if you've seen any, any of my fights, you'll know that I do get better every fight. And um, it's just simply because of all the sacrifice I made. And I know you guys probably can't see it with me missing weight, but I worked super hard to make that weight, although I didn't. Um, and uh, I've worked super hard this entire camp, and I've sacrificed so much. So... I'm excited to just show the fans who Ugly Man Joe is. And one of my favorite quotes that has come out of interviewing you is, not that ugly, but <laughs> Ugly Man Joe, UFC 288. Don't miss it. It's going down, Joe. Thanks so much, bro. Great to meet you, man. Pleasure's mine. Pleasure's mine.